Where are we going, Mom? We're going to push cows today. I've corrupted you, and now you're a Western woman? Yeah. It's like impossible to hold your hand still. I'm on nickel, and Mom's on Dunskin. How do you feel? I feel good. You look like a real cowboy. So today, our task is to ride out, find the cows in this pasture, push them to the front, uh, and then we're going to switch them to another pasture. So we're going to push them out the gate, down the road a little bit, into another pasture so they can get some fresher grass. Because as you can see, this is dry and pretty chewed up. So yeah, found, we just found the cows and babies and a couple bulls at the end of the pasture. We pushed them up. They're ahead of us now but these guys are pretty skittish, so we're trying to just keep the pressure off as long as they're moving the way we want them to, because if we get too close, they start running, and we don't want them to scatter into the trees and the creek, because then that's gonna be messy. Right, Mom? Yep, I don't need to go in the creek too much. No, she likes minimal water crossing. Uh-oh, can we cross back over? We'll see. <laughs> Sounds like they're going through the trees, that's for sure. You're killing it. <laughs> Mom stopped them. They tried to cross the creek and she stopped them. Hello, women and children. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Hey, easy. The ladies are contained. There's a couple bulls in there too, but I have them in this corner and we need them over there where the gate is. So I'm just waiting for them to tell me when I can send them back, but I don't want to send them back and then push them too far back. We got the cows, calves, and bulls into the new pasture. Mom's hanging out over there. And I just did a little run through, checking them all to see if they had any, you know, any of them look sick or their eyes looked infected and everyone looks good. Everyone looks good here. I don't see any goopy eyes. So do you wanna ride up the road and maybe ride through? Yeah. Hold on. Hey boys. You're looking thick today. We're now riding up the road to go do some exploring because we're done with our work for the day, right? We got our chore done. We were just talking about how this working life for the horses is so good for them and they're just so natural and you feel so safe on them. And there's so many horses out there that just never get out of the arena and are terrified of literally everything, a gust of wind. And uh, these guys are moving spooky cows that are in the shadows behind trees and down in the river and pop out at them and they don't even flinch. They just do their job. It's like what they're meant to do. And, you know, they work long hard days but when they're not working they get to be on a 400 acre pasture this horse is 20 years old he looks fantastic and you know I also just think like a lot of riding not just English but I feel like a lot of English riding I've witnessed it's a lot of critiquing of your body and how you look and you know it's very competitive and I just think this is so much more enjoyable and meaningful yeah and yeah these horses have a real job and they're really good at it. <laughs> we got done. 
double splashers. Oh. All done. Mom, what'd you think? I'm in love with this boy. He treated me kindly. He's the best boy, Dunskin. His baby was pretty darn good, too. Yeah, <laughs> look at him with his little googly eyes. Are you liking your sweet feed? Yeah, I'd like to give him a little hose off. We hosed off the ponies, and now they're going back to their house. Tomorrow morning, we are heading out with Dunskin and Nickel, and they both get to come be happy trail horses until the end of the summer since all the cattle are taken care of. <laughs>